This is on the 25th of this, of this uh, today. It says, If it is possible for as depend on you, live at peace with everyone at times, there will be someone who is determined to oppose you. Without good cause, in this case, I don't hold you accountable for this conflict. More often, however, you have contributed something to this decision, to, 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 to your decision. When this happens, you should repent of your part of this conflict and do whatever you can to restore a peaceful relationship. Come on, Kelly. In either situation, you need to forgive the person who offended you and, may you, and you may also need to forgive yourself. Ah, beloved, right. beloved, are quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Take time not only to think through what you can, what you want to say, but what to listen to other person. If you listen carefully and pause before responding, you will you will be much less loved, likely to become angry. Whenever you have failed to live at peace with uh, with others and you are a fault, do not despair and pay penalty for all your sins and you could have permanent peace with me. Amen. And it actually says in Romans 12, 8, it says, if it's possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Amen. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Y, y se olvidó que como era para estar arrancando las hierbas, la raíz y, pero al mismo tiempo le estaba pidiendo al Señor que, que sigue siendo lo mismo con ella enseñándole que es lo que tiene adentro la raíz que nos viene y a sacárselo Amen. y dice que es bueno para todos también pedirle al Señor que necesitamos a veces Que él puede entrar ahí a sacar lo que no es bueno y no es de él. Amen. Can I get an amen? I, I'm just sharing the testimony that Irene shared with you. Amen. You know, it's powerful that, that we keep asking God to prune us. Amen. To, to take out what's not good in us. Amen. Um, the other is learning how to forgive. Can I get a witness this morning? Well, good morning. But I'm going to pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you that you have me back in the home, back in your house, Father God. Your word says that in my house will be a house of prayer, Father God. I thank you for the ones who have prayed for us. And, we, and, and Father God, I just ask that you use me this morning, Father God. Use me as a vessel, Father God. Prune me where I need to be pruned, Father God. But most of all, Father God, show me how to love and forgive, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, everybody say Amen. amen amen give him glory in the house you know this song that just played he said as i as i reach up and i just want to touch you, he said because he said he said when i reach up he said in this house there is the glory of god amen in this house the, the glory is falling down amen and i love that because you know I, you, if you can just imagine that that as we reach up god is sending his glory down amen hallelujah well thank y'all church for being here this morning we know it's a beautiful day in the Lord. Amen. We have uh, the guests here today. We have the, the church body here. We have the most of the men are still with us. Come on, somebody. Can I get a, can I? Hey, y'all, y'all are sleeping here this morning. You know, all y'all knew we were, in, well, I don't know if everybody knew we were in Mexico last, you know, weekend. Amen. And, you know, we were, you know, we thank y'all for holding down the church. And I'm going to ask a, a, a la iglesia por estar aquí, no, estábamos en, en México ahí last, last week, and we were, we were um, celebrating my sister-in-law's birthday party, amen, plenty of mariachis and plenty of big fish, I mean, really good fish, and, and um, but you know, it was all good until the mariachis started singing a little worldly, amen, okay, can y'all help me, amen, estaba bien, digo, hasta que pusieron a, a cantar los mariachis un poquito del mundo, me diga, hey, hey, you know, God said, I got my eyes on you, Pastor. Amen. You know, you know, I'm watching you. Come on, somebody. Can I get a can I get an amen? My God, I had I had to remind myself who I'm under. Amen. And I said, okay, it's time to go. Amen. Can I get an amen? But through it all, God had his eyes on me. And that's what, you know, and and I thank God that yes, it was different. Era diferente. Este viaje era un poco diferente porque there was mucho gusto, mucho risa. 
pero también muchas lágrimas. There was in this in this in this um, trip was different. Amen. There was a lot of laughter, a lot of smiles, but a lot of tears too. Uh oh. You know, and, and, and you know, and there was some forgiveness that would still weigh down in there that things had to be spoken. Estaban unas cosas que estaban de fundo adentro que tenían que hablar los, los, la familia, la familia, you know, my family. And I would say, hey, don't go there, amen, because we have been forgiven, amen. But, you know, you know how we are. We like to bring up the past. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Can I get an amen? Listen, again. I just want to thank the visitors here today, amen, and the church still coming because it, it brings me joy. And the, and, and the joy that I have this morning is that I've been saved and sanctified. Can I get a witness? I've been, I've been forgiven by the Most High. Lo más gusto que a mí me da hoy en la mañana que tengo un Salvador, amen, que a mí me ha perdonado. Does anybody been forgiven in the house? Come on, give him glory this morning. You know, my Bible tells me because your love in, in in Psalm 63.3, he tells us, because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. My God. Dice, dice la escritura que, que lo más por tu, por toda la vida. Dice, let me tell you. Dice, por tu amor es mejor de la vida. Porque de mis labios yo te voy a glorificar. Amen. It says that, you know, my God. Can, did y'all hear that? Who comes to give him glory this morning? Dale gloria this morning. But you know, I want to say this, that this trip to Mexico, it, it reminded me, este, este viaje a Mexico me recordó que how much was needed for us to still walk with Christ. Amen. It, it reminded me how much we still need to walk with Christ. It taught me how much we needed forgiveness in our lives and that many fall, but thank God that when people fall, they can come to the throne and say, God, will you forgive me? Amen. Come on, somebody. Can, can we, we got to come to the throne and, and repent and say, God, you are with me this morning. And I need you to forgive me. Can I get a witness this morning? And I'm taking y'all somewhere. We're going to be in Jonah chapter 4 today. But, but the message this morning is, are you grateful for his forgiveness? Tienes gracias por el perdón del Señor. Amen. And I also say... Do I want to be right or do I want to be free? Quiero tener razón o quiero tener libre. You know, we, you got you to, now I'm saying this because you got to picture this. Uh, muchos no quieren perdón porque tienen razón. Uh-oh, that rhymed right there, didn't it? Uh, Y'all don't hear me this morning. You know, many of us don't want to forgive because we're right. You know, I, no, 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 I, God, I don't want you to tear them up because I'm right. Uh-oh. Are we perfect? Not one of us, the Bible tells us. But thank you, Jesus. Now listen, at one time in, our, in, in, in another, we will need to be forgiven. And I'm talking about forgiving ourselves. Yo estoy hablando, a un tiempo en la vida vamos a tener que estar perdonado. Amen. And, and I'm not talking about forgiving us, but forgiving our own self. Can I get a witness this morning? So I ask, is forgiveness a struggle for you? Para perdonar para ti es una lucha. Is it, it is, oh my God, help me. Is forgiveness in your heart? Hay perdón en tu corazón. Do you struggle to let go and forgive? Tenemos, tenemos un dura, tenemos, uh, batallamos para dejar las cosas ir. Oh, it's getting quiet in here this morning. Listen, there will come a time that in our lives, we have to let go of always trying to be right. Did y'all hear that? Amen. Viene un tiempo en la vida que tenemos que uh, a saber cómo dejar y no todo el tiempo estar con razón. Que somos, va a ser como yo digo. Can I get a witness this morning? Look, look what Luke, and, and I'm going to just share a little bit about. In Luke 11, 4, the scripture gives us, he says, forgive us when, when Jesus went to teach his disciples. Cuando le pidieron los discípulos a Jesús, enseñame cómo orar. He said, he, he said, forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us and lead us not into temptation. He wasn't, this, this scripture que, que estoy leyendo, lo primer, como lo enseñó al Señor a, a que oraban, era por enseñarles que, 
para estar firme en el Señor, para estar con Jesucristo, tenemos que saber cómo perdonar. To be strong in God, he was teaching them, first you got to know how to forgive. Are y'all with me this morning? Can I get a witness this morning? See, too many of us, and I'm going to get in this message because I'm going to take out to the word. Too many times we justify why we don't allow ourselves to forgive. Many, uh, demasiado veces justificamos por qué no, no perdonamos. We look upon ourselves as if we have no faults. Uh, no tenemos, lo miramos a nosotros mismos que no tenemos fallas. Did, did y'all get that? We look upon ourselves as if we have no faults. So we look at others before we look at ourselves. Oh my God, help me, Holy Ghost. But Psalms 19.12 tells us, Who can discern his errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Dice la palabra, ¿Quién puede des, de, a, a reconocer el corazón? Dice, de, le, de, le está pidiendo al Señor, perdóname por los fallos que tengo escondidos. Don't you know that even ourselves, we have hidden faults that nobody sees? My God, I, I'm not in the church this morning. I need, I need some help this morning. Amen. And no, now you're getting fire. No, it's quiet up in here. Hey, how many have hidden faults that we got? Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? Don't y'all make me mess up this morning. And above all, this is in, in 1 Peter 4, it says, And above all things, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sins. Amen. Dice la palabra en primer, um, uh, Pedro 4, 8, dice, Dice, tenga, primero, dice, arriba de todo, tenga un, un, un amor de fondo, dice, a uno al otro. Amen. Porque eso tapa todo un múltiplo de, de, de pecados. Amen. So, you got to understand that the scriptures that I'm giving you, it all comes to the love of God and what he did for us. Los perdonó a nosotros. Can I get an amen? God has, God has forgiven us. Church, only when you know the love of God and the faith he has given you, you will ask for forgiveness. We cannot let those who have hurt us in the past dictate our future. Can I get a witness? Amen. Because in God, every day is a new day. Come on, somebody. Every day is a fresh beginning because through his grace and our faith, we have been forgiven. Don't you know that? That, that our salvation started with forgiveness. Our salvation is forgiveness. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? Todos los días le digo, es un día nuevo en Jesucristo. La salvación comenzó en la vida de nosotros por el perdón. Can I get a witness this morning? I need some help this morning. Help us, oh God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive us our sins, the Bible says, for your name's sake. Now listen. This verse that we talked about in 1 Peter 4.8. This verse called to action, to love another, and so doing, you will forgive all the trespasses against you. Amen? Amen. And, and many of us have had trouble with forgiving someone. Can I get a witness? Amen. ¿Cuántos nosotros tenemos, muchos tienen, tenemos tan duro el corazón que no queremos a perdonar a alguien? How many, how, many, how many have troubles forgiving somebody? Come on, somebody. Can I get an Amen. Because the Bible tells us when, when we have been forgiven little, we love little. Yes. Unforgiveness is a disease, you know that? Para no perdonar es, es, un, es, es, es un, oh my God, help me, Holy Ghost. Es una enfermedad, you know? Para no perdonar es una enfermedad. It, it's, it, unforgiveness is a disease that will destroy you from the inside out. Come on, somebody. It robs you from your peace, your sanity, your sleep, your joy. And it's like a knot tied up in your stomach that you can't untie. My God. Es como eh, cuando no perdonas, pierdes, eh, eh, no puedes dormir. Ya no tienes risa. Ya no tienes, ya te, te envenena. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? Es como un nudo que no puedes desatar. You know, it, it, es como un nudo que tienes adentro que no lo puedes. My God, ya. I need some help up in here this morning. Amen. Come on, Augustine. Are you with me this morning? You know, sometimes we got to let go of friendship, relationship, hurt, fear, past mistakes. Tenemos que dejar los errores de pasado, amen. Eh, eh, los, los cosas que hemos hecho en la vida que, que trae dolor, miedo, regrets. See, it's easier when we rely, we realize that God is in control. A veces no podemos serlo, pero tenemos que a reconocer que es más fácil cuando sabemos que Dios está en control. 
Can I get a witness this morning? I, I guess y'all want me to start preaching this morning. Amen. Sometimes God uses the storms and people in your life to build up, to build you up. You know, a veces pasamos por cosas en la vida porque Dios pone eso en tu vida para poder alabantarte, para hacerte más fuerte. Come on, somebody. See, God, God does this to us so we can learn how to lean on God. The, hace eso para poder decir, ¿sabes qué? Él también necesita perdón. Eh? Dios me ha perdonado a mí, so ahora yo tengo que perdonar a Él. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? amen. God has, listen, God has something better and greater than your past mistakes. Sabes que Dios tiene algo mejor y más grande por los, los errores pasados. He's got something better for us. All we have to do is let God have your life because he can do more with it than you can. My God. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Tenemos que darle la vida al Señor porque Él puede ser algo mejor que tú puedes. Can I get a witness this morning? Amen. Listen, uh, the Bible tells me in Isaiah 43, 18, forget the former things and do not dwell on the past. Dice la palabra en Isaías 43, 18. No olvídate de las cosas, de las cosas, the former things, y do not dwell on the past. No, no te es nomás pensando en las cosas de atrás. Amen. Porque dice, the Bible tells us that, you know, in this message, God, the Bible says, but forget all that. It's nothing compared to what I'm going to do, my God. Dice la palabra en, en esta escritura, dice, no olvídate porque yo voy a hacer algo más que tú crees. How many believe that this morning? Being set, being set free starts with forgiveness, not only for yourself, but to others. Amen. Cuando, para comenzar, que estás perdonado, eso, eso te da libertad. This, this, this gives you freedom when you begin to forgive others. Amen. Amen. Because, you know, you, when you have somebody trapped, he, he can't be free if you don't forgive him. Can I get a witness? Amen. And this reminds me of the story of Jonah. We're going to be in Jonah 4. Amen. Vamos a estar en, en, en Jonah this morning. Uh, Brother uh, Rudy, you want to come up? Are you ready to read? Can you read today for me? Come on up. He going to try. Alguien puede leer español? You're welcome. Now listen. This reminds me of the story of Jonah. He said he, he was right and he didn't want to forgive. Jonah dijo, yo tengo razón y yo no voy a perdonar. He said, when Jonah was spit out of the mouth of a fish, God sends him back to Nineveh to rebuke them for their sin. Amen. And Jonah, on the other hand, walked into the city of Nineveh and said, you have 40 days. Cuando entró, cuando, cuando lo escupió el, el pescado a Jonah, regresó para atrás. Y ahora dijo el Señor, vete para atrás y ve, dile los pecados que están haciendo. And he, and he said that the Bible, the Bible says when he went over, cuando fue para atrás, nomás le dijo, tienes 40 días. Now, can you, can, can you picture this? The prophet went in there and he didn't have too much to say. He just said, you got 40 days to repent and be sorry. Amen. There are y'all, I'm, y'all, I'm, I'm opening y'all the picture here. Amen. And Jonah, on the other hand, walked into the city again, you know, and he's standing there. And he's not prophesying. He's not preaching to him nothing. He just said, you got 40 days. No lo estaba predicando. Lo más digo, tienes 40 días. And listen. No woe to you. No explanation of the wickedness that God has seen. No long list of things to repent. Jonah's doing the best he can to make sure that they don't repent. That God going to punish them. Amen. Cuando llegó Jonah dijo, no voy a hacer nada para que no, se, para que no me pidan perdón. I'm not doing anything because I, I want God to punish them. <laughs> I'm taking y'all somewhere, amen. It, don't that remind you of us sometime, man? I do want God to tear him up, my God. That's it, he said. That's all he said. No whoa, no nothing. And then to Jonah's great dismay, that's all it takes for the Ninevites, uh, Ninevites to be sorry and repent. A cuando menos pensó, se pusieron a pedirle perdón al Señor. When they, when they, when he just looked around, they all started praying and fasting and they said, I'm sorry, my God. And Jonah wasn't even prophesying to them and they all are sorry for what they have done and he immediately began to fast and ask for forgiveness, including the king who proclaims a fast and urges everybody to give up their real, their evil ways and their violence. Wow. The, the king, you know, he said, the king says, God may yet relent and with compassion turn from his fierce anger. So 
We will not perish. Hasta el rey dice, ¿sabes qué? Y si, y si lo perdona, pedimos perdón, no viene a, a, el, el rey en contra de nosotros. Amen. Now, we're going to read it here in a little bit. When God, listen, when God saw what they did and how they turned from their evil ways, he relented and did not bring on them the destruction he had threatened. Cuando miró el Señor, Jesucristo, el, el Dios, cuando miró que estaban haciendo, dijo, mira, ¿sabes qué? Ya no los voy a destruir, les voy a dar una chance. Amen. I'm going to make it plain this morning. Amen. Can I, can I get a witness this morning? But Jonah was angry. Se enojó Jonah, he storms out of the city, and I knew, he says, I knew you were going to do this, I knew it, and he rails to God. Se salió de, de la ciudad, dice, ya sabes que Dios, ya sabía que ibas a hacer esto. He said, God, I knew you were going to do this. And he said, I knew that you are a grace, a gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger and abounding in love, a God who relents from sin and calamity. Now, Lord, take my life. For it is better for me to die than to live. My God. Did you hear that? Amen. Le digo al Señor, ¿sabes qué? Yo sabía que ibas a hacer esto. Ahora ya no quiero vivir. Nomás mátame. Because yo sé que eres un Señor que, que no estás... Uh, um, un Señor que es rápido para enojarte. Y tú es un Señor que es lleno de amor. Y tú perdonas a la gente. Can you, are y'all getting the picture? Amen. And Jonas is mad and angry because he didn't get what he wanted. God destroying the people he doesn't like, those he could not forgive. My God. Eh? Dijo, no, sabes que esos entes son de los peor de lo peor. Quiero que lo maten, Jesús. Y no quiero que lo perdonen, Señor. Amen. Y'all y- 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 getting that. Amen. He was, he, he was angry. He said, man, you know what? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm, I'm leaving the city and I'm going to sit outside. Y'all, y'all read the story, amen. Look, are we like Jonah sometimes? Take them away, Lord. I'm done with them. Nosotros también somos a veces así como Jonah. No, llévatelo, Señor. Ya, ya no puedo con él. Amen. My God. You're so angry sometimes that folks can't wait to see them because you're going to let them have it. My God. I'm going to tell that what they did and how they made me feel. I'm going to tell them what kind of snake they are, my God. I'm going to tell them what kind of mangy dog they are, my God. You got all these words in your mind. You're about to tear somebody up. Can't wait to see them, my God. Did y'all hear that? Somos a veces como Jonah, a veces decimos, yo no, no, cuando llega de la casa, le voy a decir esto y lo otro, le voy a decir que perro rañoso es, my God, I'm talking to somebody. My, can y'all, oh my God, I need some help in here, amen. Le voy a decir, tenemos todas estas palabras. Que lo vamos a destruir. You know, we, we got all these words in our mind that we're going to tear him up for what he did for us. Amen. Amen. And then when you see them, before you can even open your mouth, my God, y cuando los mires antes que puedes abrir la boca, vienen y te dicen, perdóname, I'm sorry, my God. <laughs> oh, y'all don't hear me this morning. You know, listen to this. How many times, you know, you, you walk in the house, first you say, well, you forgive me. I'm sorry. My God, I thank Jesus that I got a wife that forgave me. Amen. How many times, cuántas veces yo llegué, antes me iba a decir todo, y yo le dije, perdóname, ya, ya. Y ahora ya está en la mano, now she's more angry because she forgot everything she going to tell me. My God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. Yo, y'all don't hear me this morning. Amen. Y eso es lo que, es lo que hacemos a veces, you know, we, we, we're ready to tear somebody up, but the passion of God, the compassion that God has given us, we, no podemos decir nada. We, we, you know, we, we, the compassion that God had on us, we can't even say nothing to him. But then we get angry because we forgot that what we're going to tell him. My God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me. You don't want them to be sorry. Now you're angry and you don't want them to accept their apology. You just want to hit them over the head. You know, a veces no, no queremos, estamos tan enojados que le queremos dar con el palote de la tortilla. No, come on, somebody. We want to hit them with a tortilla roller, my God. Just, just, I got something to tell them, but I, I'm not going to forgive them, amen, because I'm right. My God, I'm talking to somebody. See, church, sometimes we don't, we don't want reconciliation or resolution. We want to be proven right. My God, I'm talking to somebody. A veces no queremos reconciliación, you know, and, and, and una resolución, you know, we don't, we don't, no queremos, nomás queremos, tengo razón y yo estoy, I'm right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Can I get it? How many of us are like that? Amen. But let me tell you, church, it's better to forgive 
and be set free than to always be right. Come on, somebody, are y'all with me? A veces tenemos que nosotros más tener razón porque queremos estar libres nosotros. We want them to be free too. Now, it's not always about being right. Can I get an amen? amen. Let's go to Jonah. Let, let, me, let me go to the word. Amen. Y'all with me this morning? Jonah chapter 4. Brother, you ready? Amen. Read it. Read, read. Let's start from number 1. There's someone. We're going to read from 1 to 11. Amen. Go read it all. I want you to start from the first three okay. verses. Amen. El, 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 el enojo de Jonás. Pero esto, pero esto disgustó mucho a Jonás. Lo molestó. Número dos. Así que oro al Señor de esta manera. Oh Señor, no era esto lo que yo decía cuando todavía estaba en mi tierra. Por eso me an anticipé a oír a Tarsés. Pues bien sabía que tú eres un Dios bondadoso y mm. compasivo, mm. liento para la ira y lleno de amor, que cambias de parecer y no destruí. Amen. Amen. But Jonah was greatly displeased and became angry. He prayed to the Lord, Oh Lord, is this not what I said when I was still at home? This is why I was so quick to flee to Tarsus. I knew that you are a gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger, my God, and abounding in love, a God who relents from sin and calamity. Now, O oh Lord, take away my life, for it is better for me than to die or to live, my God. Listen, my God. So, tendemos la, la historia que dice... Cuando la primera vez, cuando Dios le dijo, vas a ir a predicar a, a esta gente. Y dijo, no, me voy a ir al otro lado. He went and got on a cruise ship somewhere. Y'all heard that. Amen. Come on, somebody. He didn't want to because he knew in his heart that we, he served a God that was a loving God. He said, I'm not going over there because God ain't going to do nothing to him. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? Because he knew what kind of God he served. But he was right. He said, that's why I left. My God. Come on, somebody. He said, that's why I ran because... I knew what you, you were a loving and compassionate God. My God, número cuatro, number four and five and six. Amen. Número cuatro. Tienes razón de molestarte tanto, le respondió el Señor. Cinco. Jonás salió y acampó al este de, de la ciudad. Allí hizo una enramada y se sentó bajo su sombra para ver, a ver a qué se sucedía so, so, en la ciudad mm -hmm. número 6 para alivarlo de su males, males, malestar Dios el Señor les puso una planta la cual creció hasta cubrir a Jonás la cabeza con su sombra Jonás right. se alegró muchísimo right por la planta Amen and said, but the Lord replied, have you any right to be angry? Did you hear that? God was asking, do you have any right to be angry? That's what we, we were just sharing about. Tu tienes el razón. You, you got any right to be angry? And he said, yes, I do. My God. Jonah went out. And listen. Jonah went out and sat down at a place east of the city. There he made himself a shelter, sat in the shade, and waited to see what would happen to the city, my God. You hear this? He went out, he said, man, I'm gonna make me a shade, I'm gonna make me a box here, I'm gonna sit in here, I'm gonna be watching. God's about to tear him up. Listen. Then the Lord provided a vine and made it grow up over Jonah to give shade for his head, to ease his discomfort. And Jonah was happy about the vine. Dios le dio una vina, una, una planta que creció arriba. And to, para darle más, más sombra, ¿no? Para que se siente mejor, ¿no? Now you got to picture this. He's sitting out there, the sun is scorching him hard, and God said, okay, I'm going to show him a little bit of compassion, my God. Le voy a enseñar un poquito como yo soy. Yo le voy a hacer, le voy a ayudar, le voy a hacer que se sienta un poquito más mejor. Le voy a mandar sombra, my God. He said, I'm going to send him a little shade so he can feel better. My God, I'm talking to somebody. God was still showing him that, you know what? I can do this. I can bring calamity but I can bring you the goodness. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? 
Then the Lord provided a vine made it grow over Jonah to give him shade for his head to ease his discomfort. And Jonah was very happy with the vine. But at dawn the next day, God provided a worm which chewed up the vine so it withered. My God. He said, number seven, brother, and eight. Uh, number seven. Pero al amanecer del día siguiente, Dios le puso que un gusano la hiriera a la planta se, se marchito. Número ocho. A salir el sol, Dios le puso un viento orientar abrazado. Además, el sol iría a Jonás en la cabeza. De modo que está desfalcía. Con, con deseo de morirse, exclamó, prefiero morir que seguir viviendo. My God. But at dawn the next day, God provided a worm which chewed the vine so that it withered. My God. When the sun rose, God provided a scorching east wind and the sun blazed on Jonah's head so that he grew faint. He wanted to die and said, I would, I, it would be better for me to die than to live. My God. Dice que se levantó en la mañana ya el gusano se comió la planta, ya no tenía la sombra. You see, did you hear that? God said in the morning, he said, God sent the worm to eat the vine. Now he was, he was so hot that he wanted to faint. My God. And now the word said he was angry. He said, listen, he said, but God said to Jonah, do you have the right to be angry about the vine, I do, he said, I'm angry enough to die, my God. Eh? Dice, dice, ¿por qué tienes, tienes el derecho para estar enojado? Dice, sí, tengo el derecho. Dice, pero prefiero morirme. He's, come on, somebody. You ever get to a point like that where you, where things don't go your way, things ain't right, my way, whatever, you just said, man, I just, just take me out, my God. Can I get an amen? amen. But listen, nine, uh, read nine, brother, nine. Número nueve. Pero Dios le dijo a Jonás, tienes razón de molestarte tanto por la planta. Claro que la tengo, la, res la respondió, claro que la tengo, la respondió, me muero de rabia. Mm, my God, but listen, ¿Qué? listen to But the Lord said, you have been concerned about this vine. Do you, listen, though you did not tend to it or make it grow, it sprang up overnight and died overnight. But Nineveh has more than 120,000 people who cannot tell their right hand from their left and make many cattle as well. Should I not be concerned about the great city? My God. Dice Dios. Dice, tú no, tú te estás fijando en la vina. Pero yo me estoy fijando en la gente que no conoce la mano, mano derecha, la mano de izquierda, la mano, mano derecha. Dice, no, no me conocen a mí. Yo tengo que salvarlos para poder que ellos conocer a mí. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? He was saying, you know what? You're worried about a vine, but I'm worried about folks in there that need a savior. My God, I'm talking to somebody. I, I, I'm concerned about the, not only the people in there, but the cattle. They need to know God like you do. My God, come on, somebody. He was saying, you know what? You're too busy about what you want, but what about the others? I showed grace to you. Now you got to show grace and forgive them. Come on, somebody. God was saying, I got to forgive them like I forgave you. My God, I better, I need I need some help in here this morning. Can I get a witness this morning? God was saying, you're too busy looking at the things that don't concern you. Amen. They need Jesus too. I need Jesus. My God, I'm talking to someone. Can I get a witness this morning? Amen. Did, did y'all get that? He was saying, you know what? You, don't worry about that vine. I made it grow and I took it. My God, come on, somebody. He says, I mean, I creció en un día y para the next day ya no estaba. He said, but I got to, I got to forgive these people. They don't know their left hand to the right. They don't know me. But I have showed you compassion. Now you show compassion to them. Amen. Because they need a Savior. They need a Jesus. Give them glory in the house. 